Colder temperatures send us indoors, and that usually means closer contact with other people. And in this cold, flu, RSV, and COVID season, what do we need to do to stay healthy and keep our little ones healthy, too? Dr. Ravi Javeri is a pediatric infectious disease specialist. Good morning. Good morning. Well, as we head into this season, headlong, actually, uh, what are your concerns? So certainly as we think about this early part of the season, we have minimal levels of flu. But as we think about Thanksgiving coming up and other winter holidays with travel and family get-togethers, we worry about uh, increased spread of not only flu, but those other respiratory viruses you mentioned. And what advice are you giving your patients and the viewers today about prevention? What, what can we do? What's our part? So certainly in the post-pandemic, we have learned all the lessons about washing our hands, wearing a mask, staying away from others when we're sick. But also, uh, we recommend flu vaccine for everyone six months of age and older. And so it's really important that you speak to your healthcare professionals about trying to figure out which flu vaccine is best for you. Well, let's talk about the children here. What are your recommendations about vaccines, when they should get them, who shouldn't get them? So again, uh, flu vaccine is recommended for everyone uh, six months and older. So there's a version that anyone can get no matter their health condition uh, or the like. Uh, there are many options to choose from. The flu shot that, uh, the injection that most people are familiar with, but also there's a needle free version as well. And I'm here partnering with AstraZeneca to raise awareness. Uh, this is called a Flumis quadrivalent. It's the first and only nasal spray flu vaccine that's FDA approved for patients two to 49 years of age. Well, that's interesting to, to learn about. So is it a one spray, one breath in, or is it something you do repeatedly until you get to that dosage level? So it's one vaccine and you spray half of it in one side of your nose and half in the other. And uh, it obviously avoids the needle. And a lot of kids really like that option. A lot of adults really like that option too. Uh, <laughs> and so it becomes a really convenient option for, for those that, that don't necessarily like needles. What is the efficacy between the injection and the, the one that you inhale? Um, so they're generally the same. Uh, the uh, needle-free intranasal option is included as a equivalent option in the CDC guidance for protecting ourselves. And so again, I think uh, it's, it's an important option for patients uh, as they're thinking about which flu vaccine is best for them. So what, I guess, the overarching uh, information you want to leave in the minds of my viewers today? Absolutely. I want to encourage everyone to think about uh, and plan for getting flu vaccine in the coming weeks as they think about the holidays. They can get more information at findflumist.com, but really just prioritizing a conversation with your doctor or pharmacist about getting the flu vaccine. Thank you very much. Great information. Thank you for having me. And we'll be back. More Lifestyles right after this.